This is Adi Sharma solution class 12 chapter 9 continuity mcq multiple choice questions we are taking the points of discontinuity of the function so at what point we are going to discuss if you see it on a number line it's between 0 and 4 there are three functions so the point 1 and point 5 by 2 is of our concern between 0 and 4 this 1 and this 5 by 2 so this 5 by 2 is simply 2.5 right so there are three functions here so you have to tell that the points of discontinuity of this function is where at 1 at 5 by 2 at 0 at 4 where okay Uh, before actually solving it's quite easy because we just have to check for one and five by two because this is the point where the function is changing. So this two root x is uh, simply a polynomial function. It's two raise two x raise one by two. One by one and five by two. It is four minus two x again a polynomial function. So this this four is a constant. Two x is a polynomial function. Combination of these two will always be cont continuous. that is the the difference will also be continuous between 5 by 2 and 4 it's 2x minus 7 again 2x is a polynomial 7 is a continuous function so if one is f one is g f minus g that is their difference will also be continuous but here we are going to we don't have to check for 0 and 4 because it is not changing i don't we don't know about that but by the question we know that in one the point where 1 is there and 5 by 2 it is going it is changing so we'll take x as 1 minus h we'll take as 1 x as 1 plus h so i'm talking about 1 so when you go back a bit uh, from 1 you'll have to use 2 root x i'm replacing x by 1 minus h on the right uh, hand limit 4 minus 2x so here i am replacing x by 1 plus h so you can just take h as 0 here under root 1 is 1 so 2 will be the answer So limit h tends to zero. You can apply on both LHL and RHL. So two you get on LHL. On RHL, when you apply h is zero, you get four minus two. That is two. So the left hand limit and the right hand limit they are matching. They are equal. So there is no problem with. Uh, so you can just uh, remove all the options having one. So the answer can be x equals five by two, x equals zero and four. Zero and four, it cannot be because we can see that it is not. But we have to prove it. So we have to check at five by two. So left hand limit for uh, this five by two is five by two minus h. Right hand limit is five by two plus h. R H L. We are checking at five by two. So when you go back uh, from five by two, you are going to use four minus two x. Four minus two into five by two minus h. When you go on the right of five by two, you are going to use five by two plus h. So 2x minus 7 you have to use. So 2 into 5 by 2 plus h minus 7. So what do you get here? 4 minus 2 into 5 by 2 minus minus is plus. So plus 2h you'll get. So this is going to be 0. 2 2 gets cancelled. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Now multiply this. 2 into 5 by 2 plus 2h minus 7. So this goes 0. 2 2 gets cancelled. 5 minus 7 is negative 2. So minus 1 and minus 2 they are not equal. That means this is the point of discontinuity. So this this is the answer. X f x is called discontinuous at x equals five by two. Now we have here three functions. At pi by two, it is a. It's already given as a. So we have to see the left hand limit and right hand limit at x equals pi by two. That is how you are going to achieve b because you want to have b. So let us uh, take one by one. Left hand limit will take, right hand limit will take uh, for pi by two, and that is how we are going to arrive at the solution for a and b. So left hand limit for this pi by two minus h x equals pi by two minus h. You have to, you are going to put so one minus sine square a in place of x, replace it by pi by two minus h. The denominator just replace it by cos square pi by two minus h. So cos cos ninety minus theta is sine theta. Sine ninety minus theta is cos theta. Okay. So one minus sine square 
it's basically cos square 1 minus cos square h in the denominator you have 3 cos square because cos is 90 cos 90 minus 3 is sin theta so sin square h it will be now 1 minus sin, cos square theta is sin square theta because sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so you can write it here as sin square theta divided by 3 sin square theta sin square sin square gets cancelled you get 1 by 3 now this left hand limit and right hand limit are equal because it is continuous at pi by 2 so you can just equate it to a so a is 1 by 3 the answer of a is 1 by 3 but before that let me just do or uh, take you to right hand limit as well so what does this right hand limit says just see here right hand limit we have to go, we have to put this pi by 2 plus h so b into 1 minus sine pi by 2 plus h and then we have pi minus denominator pi minus 2 into pi by 2 uh, plus h and then pi minus uh, 2 into pi by 2 uh, minus 2h so you this 2 2 gets cancelled and then you have you can have 4 4 h square here so this 1 minus sine 90 plus theta it is at sugar to coffee so this sine pi by 2 plus h is cos h but since it is po positive sine is positive in the second quadrant then what you are going to get it's going to be positive only so you have 1 minus cos h and then we have in the denominator 4h square b by 4h square will, we are going to deal later. What you are going to get 1 minus uh, cos h so it is 2 sin square h by 2 in the denominator as I said you already have h square. So you have to have a divided by 4 so you have to have a 4 uh, to multiply also. So sin h by 2 h by 2 this is limit if you apply it is going to be. 1 because sin theta by theta limit theta tends to 0 is 1 so you get b by 8. Now b by 8 is equal to 1 by 3 this is equal to a so from here you get b equals 8 by 3 and the earlier one as I told you the earlier one it is it was remember it was a a was 1 by 3. So you have a as 1 by 3 and b by 8 so a is 1 by 3 b is 8 by 3. This is your answer second second one. The points of discontinuity of the function fx is equal to so this is uh, x is less than or equal to 1 then x is between 1 and 3 and then x is greater than or equal to 3. So you have this as 1 you go back you have to use uh, this first function in between 1 and 3 you are going to use the the 6 minus 5x on the right you have to use the x minus 5. Okay. So the point of contention is basically 1, 1 and 3 and the, the all these three functions are basically polynomials. Okay. So let us uh, try to find out at 1 and 3 these are the point of discontinuity or continuity. So this we have to find out the points of discontinuity. So x is equal to 1. So we are left hand limit and right hand limit we have to take when we take x as 1 minus h. It is going to be 1 by 5 into 2x square plus 3 we are going to use. So 1 by 5 in place of x just replace it by 1 minus h. So 1 minus h whole square plus 3. So just put h as 0 because we are just, we can just apply a limit here. But for you it you have to open it 1 minus h whole square you have to open it and then you have to solve okay. So do you get 5 by 5 which is equal to 1 here in this case. Now right hand limit let us find out the right hand limit. So as I told you right hand limit you have to use the second function which is nothing but your 6 minus 5 into 6 minus 5 into x. So 6 minus 5 into x in place of x right hand limit 1 plus h you replace again h is 0 so 6 minus 5 is equal to this is 1. So at 1 it is continuous because both left hand limit right hand limit they are 1. So now we are we are talking about the x the point which is 3. So discontinuity see first this it is not discontinuous at 1. So first option third option uh, and none of these you can just eliminate these three. So x equals 3 is the answer. But uh, x equals 3 
from the options it is clear that x equals to 3 it should be because x is not x1 x1 3 this cannot be true none of these also is not true but we will do the x equals 3 and we'll show that x at, at x equals to 3 it is actually discontinuous so let us see at x equals 3 so x equals 3 we are going to find out LHL and RHL left hand limit and right hand limit so x equals 3 minus h will use x equals 3 plus h you will use when you go back a bit from 3 you have to use 6 minus 5x on the right you have to use x minus 3 so I'm replacing x by 3 minus h in 6 minus 5x I'm replacing x as 3 plus h in x minus 3 so this 3 plus h minus 3 this you said this gets cancelled h is 0 already so you have limit h tends to 0 just apply it this is going to be 0 and this is 6 minus 5 3 this is going to be 0 5 3 is a 15 so 6 minus 15 is a negative 9 the left hand limit right hand limit they are not matching one is negative 9 one is 0 so x equals 3 is the point of discontinuity is the answer the value of a for which the function this one is continuous at every point of its domain is so we have to find out a and by far we have done already 40 questions so you know how to do this left hand limit right hand limit equated you'll get a so just uh, you know for the sake of uh, completion lhl rhl at point one you have to check so x as one minus h x as one plus h on lhl and rhl uh, one minus h you have to replace it in 5x minus 4 1 plus h you have to replace in 4x square plus 3ax so I am replacing 1 minus h and 1 plus h respectively in left hand limit and right hand limit okay so this you can just replace this h by 0 5 minus 4 is 1 this is going to be 1 and here you can just take this h as 0 4 plus 3 a. again this is 0 4 plus 3a or a, this 4 plus 3a you have to equate so that you get a so because this is the point of continuity LHL has to be R equal to RHL so here you get 3a equals 1 minus 4 that is minus 3a is negative 1 a is negative 1 is the answer this one so the value of a for which this is continuous is negative 1 okay so the, in between 0 and 2 1 is the point now if fx is equal to there this is what first function is for x not equal to pi by 2 the other one is a constant x equals pi by 2 it is k so this is uh, continuous at x equals pi by 2 then k is equal to so what we will do here is we will just try to find out the limit since it is continuous at x equals pi by 2 left hand limit and right hand limit are equal lhl and rhl are equal because this is x equals pi by 2 so what you have to do is you just have to find out the LHL or RHL means actually the limit not LHL RHL but just the limit and this limit has to be equated to K. So what you can do is you can either replace X by pi by 2 minus H it's up, it's up to you or replace X by pi by 2 plus H it's up to you. I am going to replace X by pi by 2 minus H. So we have sine cos X minus cos X divided by pi minus 2x whole square so as i said you can take any of it pi by 2 minus h and pi by 2 plus h so this x equals pi by 2 minus h okay pi minus 2 into i'm i'm replacing this denominator now pi minus 2 into pi by 2 minus h this gets this is twice into pi by 2 minus minus gets plus plus 2h so the, this or every only 2h remains and since it is square also it will be 4h square in the denominator okay this is the denominator 4h square we will be taking care of uh, it we will be using it but the numerator is sine cos and you have to replace it by pi by 2 minus h again I am just saying you can always take it as pi by 2 plus h it up, it's up to you and we have cos pi by 2 minus h cos pi by 2 minus h is this cos 90 minus theta is sine theta so sine sine h so always write limit extends to 0 everywhere because this is what we are doing sine sine h minus cos 90 minus theta is sine theta so you have sine h here so in the denominator you have 4h square but before that one 
This is sin theta minus sin c minus sin d. This is equivalent to sin c minus sin d. Now this c is sin h here, d is h here. So you can replace the sin c minus sin d as 2 sin c minus d by 2 and cos c plus d by 2. Okay. So this sin c minus sin d is 2 sin c minus d by 2 cos c plus d by 2. This is what we are going to use here. So this is going to be 2 sin sin h minus h by 2 sin h minus h by 2 and then we have cos sin h plus h by 2. Okay, so limit h tends to 0 you have to write everywhere. And what is in the denominator 4h square? But you will see this 4h square will have not much effect because I will just show you that this sin limit sin theta by theta is 1. So this is sin theta. Theta is what? Sin h minus h by 2. As I am saying sin theta by theta limit theta tends to 0 is 1. Okay. So sin h minus h divided by 2. This is theta. So we need a theta in the denominator. So when you when you have this denominator sin h minus h divided by 2. You have to have this in the numerator also because you have introduced by yourself. So this sin h minus h by 2. This has been introduced. Now this is simply sin theta by theta. This is theta. This is theta. Sin theta by this whole is these both are theta. So sin theta by theta limit theta tends to 0 is going to be 1. So I am just eliminating it. So 2 by 4 h square it is already there. You have you have cos sin h plus h by 2. So just leave it. Concentrate on sin h minus h by 2. So sin h minus h by 2 you can always write it as sin h by 2 minus h by 2. This is sin h by 2 minus h by 2. But again we can apply sin theta by theta. That is I am talking about sin h minus h by 2. I am not talking about uh, sin uh, this cos term. I am just talking about the last term we have introduced. So sin h by 2 minus h by 2. Now when you apply the limit uh, you have to have a h in the denominator. And when we introduce h in the denominator you have to have a h in the numerator also. Okay. So you can have an h in the denominator. But what you see here is sin h by h, h by 2 is still there, but you have sin h by h minus h by 2. Now if you take h by 2 common and apply the limit at sin h by h, it is going to be 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. h by 2 you take, before taking the limit also, it is going to be 0. What I, I was suggesting you is this sin theta by theta we have already taken as 1. We have applied it. So we were having sin h minus h by 2. Remember? I just told you about that. So this sin h by 2 minus h by 2. And when we introduce h, h in the numerator, h by 2 you can take common. Sin h by h, if you apply the limit, it is going to be 1. So when you take h by 2 outside, it will be sin h by h is going to be 1 for applying the limit. 1 minus 1 is 0. So you'll get a zero. So you don't have to worry about anything here. Okay. Because one term is zero. Every term will be zero. This cos sin y plus sin uh, h by plus h by 2 is not going to be zero. Because cos what if you put zero inside cos zero is already one. So only this term uh, we have to see about. And this has given you 0. So this k is equal to 0 because you have to equate it to k when x is equal to pi by 2. So f pi by 2 is k. k is 0. Okay. This question is uh, a bit tricky. So I'll give you a hint. I want you to, you know, put all your mind and effort here. But I'll give you some hint here that how to go about it. I'll give you the solution also. The answer is is discontinuous only at x equals plus minus 1 by n n belonging to z that is the integer minus 0 and x is equal to 0. So plus minus 1 by n and minus 1 by n this what you have to see. Okay. But you have to understand what does this mean mod x is greater than equal to 1 mod x is between 1 by n and 1 by n minus 1. This is the uh, basic thing you have to actually uh, talk about in this question. Okay, so let us see. 
mod x is greater than or equal to 1. See, x is x is what? This x is greater than 0. If, if x is greater than 0, you get x. If x is less than 0, you get negative x. This is what you get. So mod x, when you mod x is greater than or equal to 1, that is either you are above 1 or below minus 1. That is, I'll, I'll give you another explanation of it. Because this is very important. When you say mod x is greater than or equal to 5, mod x is greater than or equal to say n, what does that mean? What does that signify? That signifies that you are not taking the value in between the limits of negative and positive 1. So this mod x is greater than or equal to 0 because mod x is x and x and minus x. So a minus x is greater than 1 or greater than or equal to 1 or positive x is greater than or equal to 1. So x is greater than or equal to 1. It is already there the second one. But when it is negative x is greater than or equal to 1, when you multiply negative on both the sides, it will be the sign changing. So x will be less than, uh, x is less than uh, minus 1. So this is how you, it comes. x is greater than 1 and x is less than minus 1. This is how it comes. So when you're talking about x greater than 1 and minus 1, you have to use 1, the constant value. I hope you got the idea. So when you are below minus 1, you are going to use this constant. When you are above 1, you are going to use this constant, 1. But what about values in between? Because we have mod x, which is also giving you mod x is between 1 by 9 n and 1 by n minus 1. Okay. So mod x in, is in between 1 by 2. If you take n as 2, 1 by 2 and uh, 1. Because I am putting n as 2. So when you remove this modulus, same as the discussion in uh, mod x greater than equal to 1. So you are in between minus 1 and minus 1 by 2. And on the right hand side, when you take, you are between 1 and half and 1. So if you can just take x one time and negative x one time. And you will see that you are talking about minus 1 and minus half. This point, this is and, and this area, 1 and half. 1 and half. So this is, this is the graph of this function. Now, if you take uh, this, see, in bit, you have to use 1 by n square here when you are in between this. When you take 2, uh, when you take 3 in place of, uh, so you, there, there will be 1 by 3 and 1 by th uh, 3 minus 1, that is 1 by 2. So 1 by 3 is 0 0.33, 1 by, 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. So there will be another graph which I just showed you. Okay. Now, as I said, you have, you have to take different cases here. Uh, mostly what you see is that 1 by n square, when you replace it by 1 by n, when, it is, when you replace it by 1 by n minus 1, it will be 1 by n square and 1 by n minus 1 whole square. So they are going, not going to match at all. So at plus minus 1 by n, it is not going to be uh, continuous. That is what we see here. And at 0 also the same situation arises. Okay. So x equals minus 1 if you check, what do you get? I'm just trying to check so that uh, we can say that, okay, we are not getting the uh, continuity. So x equals minus 1. On left you go, x mi 1 minus, you'll get a 1. Because this is a constant. As I said, minus 1 below, you have to take 1. But when you are going above minus 1, so you have to follow this 1 by n square. So let us take this 2. So 1 by 4 it is. When you take x tends to 1, uh, negative 1 plus, it is going to be 1 by 4. Because 1 by 4, that is, uh, as I told you, it is minus 1 and half. Minus 1 and minus half in between that. So you have this 1 by 4 and 1, they are not matching left hand limit, right hand limit. So it is not continuous. Now at x equals to 0, what are you going to do? At x equals to 0, when you go left and right, you have to use what? This 1 by n square, 1 by n square. So one time you put 1 by n minus h on the left hand limit as we have been doing up till now. And on the right hand side you take 1 by 1 by n, 1 by n plus h. In both the cases, 1 by n minus h and 1 by 1 n plus h, you have to use it in 1 by n square. If h is 0, just replace because left hand limit, right hand limit, it is h only. So if h is 0, you have to use 1 by 
see 1 by n minus h i am using in left hand limit 1 by n plus h i am using in the right hand limit but because of this mod x is between 1 by n and 1 by n minus 1 and you have to use the function 1 by n square it will be 1 by n minus 1 whole square and 1 by n square because it is 1 by n square one time you have to use 1 by n minus 1 one time you have to use 1 by n okay so when you see that this is they are not equal so at x equals to 0 it is it is discontinuous so this thing will happen everywhere if you take x as negative 1 by n if you take x as positive 1 by n if you take 1 by n it will be again 1 by n and 1 by n, 1 by n square and 1 by n minus 1 whole square again when you take plus 1 by n it will be again 1 by n square and 1 by n minus 1 whole square so they are not going to match at all right if you take mod x as 1 by n that is x is minus 1 and 1 then 1 by n minus 1 whole square 1 by n square it always will be two things no, it can never match that is why it is discontinuous here also plus minus 1 by n so i showed you it at 0 i showed you at plus minus 1 by n i showed you at negative 1 also so this is a very important question for those who are preparing for the engineering examination okay So this is all about the discussion. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.